very good Wednesday morning to you. You know, it's about that time we delve into breaking views. My name is Hilda Wadidi, and it's about time we have some fun up in this studio. Ama. Mm-hmm. My name is Joe Chachi. Breaking views is about us. And this is why in the morning we are not through with the show. Maze, we keep going on and on and on. Entertaining you guys in all various sorts of ways. And as Hilda said, our social media handles you guys. She's going to share them. And me, I keep begging you. I want to see your videos. Mm-hmm. I want to see your favorite videos. I want to see the things that you're laughing at. I keep saying, Hilda and I cannot do all this work. And Masai, we need you guys to chip in Kidogo by sending those videos. How do you feel about that? Yes. Please send us everything. Whatever is weird, awesome, awkward, confusing, everything. Send us everything. So, for our first video of the day, excuse me, Ado and Yoba, please stand up up it appears uh, somebody is uh, in the is, i don't know has a, has an african heart you know has the mugumo blood flowing even if he's of a different complexion <laughs> anyway you just have a look at this <laughs> Hey, indeed. Mm. Indeed. Ah, amen and hallelujah. I like him. <laughs> that, that was interesting and fun to watch. Do you think he has mastered the language, Amma? It's just the lyrics he knows. I just think he's fascinated with the lyrics to that song or maybe just the, the language generally. Because, you know, for them, when it's worship time, kuna kuruka ruka. Maybe it's people just, are jumping. It's just because he's the only one who's being recorded. <laughs> mm. Or maybe he just has a little Kenyan in him, man. No, not mm. Kenyan. The Muguma tree. I do know. Oh, Excuse me. Yeah. Yes. Thank you very much. Let's it's be specific. It appears you're making the world a global village. Mm? <laughs> <laughs> I do like that video. I have enjoyed that one. Can we move to the next one, Safadali? Yeah. Called Cry in 5G, Maze. And I remember, do you, I don't know, when we were kids, there were times um, you get pissed off. And then maybe someone tries to console you and you do mm. <laughs> Are you walking around? Right? Gonga, like, you do the worst thing when someone tries to console you. And so I used to be like that. I was such a tantrum baby. So let's check this out. Come at you. I think this used to be my brother. <laughs> That's my brother from another mother. Um, I say, yes, I recognize that. I recognize that crying. I used to cry <laughs> like that only when people would refuse me to go for a sleepover. You know, they, <laughs> you know, they you've played the whole day with your friends. We met kwanyumba six. You know, during April holidays, we kwanyumba six. We the whole day. Six, you may figure so quickly. You don't even understand. So now we decide we all want to have a sleepover. Then we go home, and then the parents tell us, "Excuse me, kila mutu akona kitanda yake. No sleepover for you." I would feel like this. Mm, as a, ah, for me, it's just even sleepover is, is a big deal. I think that's just crying, kawaii, on a daily basis. Let me tell like, you, like, um, El Trende to Oge, no, ah, anything, go do your homework. Cry, evil too. I think we're gonna be At those least students. Used to, you know, you try that, that stuff. <laughs> you try that stuff with an African parent. I don't know whether we have evolved. Funny, my I, parents were from where. What? But I, think for I you, would be smacked for days. I see. I'm doing what? Labda, you're a bit civilized. I guess you used to hold it back. Me, nothing. Nothing. What? I Me, Ati, I'm injuring my myself. I start telling my. In fact, my mom is so savage. She's like, I'm going to kill myself. Ah, no problem. Let's stop at the supermarket. We buy you some rope. You know, like, what's wrong with you? Eh? You know, sometimes you have to be strong. You know, you have to be tough. Huh? But me, if my son was to try that, whatever nonsense I've seen there, I would also just pull out my camera and record. Even me, I'll probably I'll just sit there and just watch, let you finish your business, and then finally be like, So, what do you want? And still, you're not getting it. Sorry, Asia Apple. Atakama ujirushe, ujirushe, ujiwe. Once a parent says no. And I think kids never understand. And in my mind, I could not get it. Why are you saying no? Excuse me, but we're Swahili, Pia, Lisema, Mtoto, Akililia, Wembe, Mpe. 
Mm. Mm. Just give him whatever it is. But anyway, let me not say that. Wait, please be good parents. Anyway, so for our next video, mm -hmm, we have some new currency in town. And the small thieves are in trouble. Make sure you do have a look at this one. In this nigga like this. Well, well, well. It appears boy child has decided. Ooh, Tupa India Dirisha. Okay. Okay. Did you just trust some money, bro? I hope your girlfriend seems sappy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> should that, that, should, that should be throwing that tantrum we just saw, right? What? I will throw you out of the window. There you have thrown that. After but you push and push out yourself, then you throw him out of the window. Hey, oh, my God. Excuse me. Man. I will not throw myself. I will throw you the way you threw my money. Uh -huh. there no, but you know, I saw a meme that jazzed me a little bit. What are we doing? <laughs> Why can't we just use? And I was thinking this is really smart. We just use the old currency to pay off the Chinese debt, Maze. Oh, oh, come oh, on. Oh, <laughs> use it up. Oh, come and put it in the bank. Oh, save it. No, man, just pay the debt. And it's going to on. it's going to backfire because you know Uganda or even our neighbors have already started rejecting the old currency. So exactly. it's too late for us to pay our debt off to China with our old notes. It's too uh, late. We shouldn't have upgraded India. <laughs> 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 no, me, I'm happy with the change. You know, at least it's going to teach a few people a lesson. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, a few people. Huh? Yes. <laughs> You guys, this next one, let me pronounce it slowly because yes, I am a Kenyan proudly, and yes, Swahili is in my tongue, but sometimes in a Nicaragua. Hadith is a uh, Sheikh Othman. Yes, that's the next video that's coming up. And I want us to check it out and then talk about it. And yeah, whatever it was that he was talking about in the video. Imam <laughs> Asiye na ugomvi na, na mkewe, akai. Lakini kila mwenye ugomvi na mkewe, asimame. Basi yopo lote msikitimu, akasimame. <laughs> Mwemewesha kila mtu na ugomvi na mkewe. Ka, Kakaa mmoja haja simama, wakamuhusudu kwa masha Allah. Mwenzetu hana ugomvi na mkewe. Asema ye mtuambie raha unazozipata. Asema hamna raha. Mimi nimepigwa mbaga migu, nimevunjwa. <laughs> Ningelinge kwa mwanzo migusimama lakini mke wangu karateka amenipiga miguu yote hii haifanyi kazi. <laughs> Wewe tukisema hapa nani ana matatizo atasimama imamu na mahuma. <laughs> kwa hiyo dawa aliyovumbua huyu Dr. Abdullah Al-Qarni anasema Those of you who wow. do not have beef with your wives. Eh? Yeah. That okay. was interesting to hear, Maze. I had I think I had the word karateka, something about breaking people's bones. I'm just thinking that's the last place um I think I would expect a whole bunch of men um seated together talking about wives who have finished them, you know. Uh uh Hawana Raha. You uh, know, that's what I've had. They don't have ja Is that all that they've said? Let me just mind my own business. Excuse me, our, our, our Muslim esteemed elders. Uh, exactly. we, we just enjoyed, yes, uh, your little conversation mm. over there. But please, uh, let us love one another. You know, mm. let's not fight with our wives. And for wives, let's not fight with our husbands. You know, <laughs> let's just give each other joy. <laughs> Give each other joy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that hit me finally. <laughs> well, Give each other, Oka Hilda. <laughs> sorry, it's Give Raha. Each other. I've really? just translated it. When you watch Raha in, in English, it's joy. Yeah, no, that's true, actually. That's mm. literally my name. Or it's Swa. pleasure. Oh, pleasure. Mm. Ah, Shindwe. Okay, Aki Mami. Sorry about that. <laughs> Oh, yes, <laughs> please, to copy G. Okay, so now for our next <laughs> for our next video, excuse me, fans of Arsenal, please do not take this personally. It was just a video, you know, but we, we do not subscribe to the sentiments. Eh? But anyway, this is a good one for all of you who are not. Who would you say are the biggest clubs in the world right now? Uh, Barcelona or Real Madrid? Personally, for me, it would be in between uh, Arsenal or... Um... <laughs> what? What's wrong with Arsenal? <laughs> Arsenal! 
Must say you're not a very good person. Ha ha, Seno. Gosh. Gosh. <laughs> that was good. Okay, <laughs> like, I, I'm loving that, by the way. Like, you know, this is how you fail exams. You're told to choose between two particular teams. Now, talk talk out of the answers that you've been given, you choose an answer which was not even there. Oh, but he was like, entitled to his that? own opinion. Come on. But that's true. But, he, but you're told. Uh, what were the two? I think, um, was it Real Madrid uh -huh. and something else? And Barcelona. Is it Real Madrid or Real Madrid? Honey, I'm not Spanish. <laughs> Real Madrid to me. But like, I, I was just so, uh -huh. this is how you fail. You're told choose between A and B. No, you go and choose F. Lazima watu wa kuwe die hard in these streets. You know, lazima watu wa kuwe die hard. If you're going to hate, you're going to hate. You know, like, like watu wa kuwe die hard is cool. But I, I'm, I'm, I personally do not watch football. So I cannot relate to uh, how you people are feeling about this. Mm. All right, let's can move on now. Let's move on to the next one, mate. Mm -hmm. Move on to the next one. Ha <laughs> ha, say no. Masai, you're the bomb. <laughs> The next one is called hug excitement. You know when you get excited uh, after I don't know, and this is why I take hugs so personally. And I'm, I'm, it's not actually because of excitement or anything. I just find them quite intimate. So you have to be a really good friend of mine to get a hug. So I'm just thinking, hey, what's up with this? Let's let's check out this video and how this man loves hugs. That sound you made at the end. Well, you felt sorry for him. The heartbreak is real. How many? Do you know? Do you know how many people are longing for that intimacy? You know, just to be touched like this by somebody. Oh, poor thing. I think I love that. There are those mm -hmm. ones who just like being hugged. Yeah, that's cool. He seemed pretty adorable. Quite harmless, I think. Ah, uh, no, that that's that's like the fastest way to get yourself a stalker. Don't just that's be true. hugging people in the street. But did you Excuse see me. his car costume? He looked like a what? This guy. He looks like to a weirdo. Yes, uh, but this kind of video game we used to play, no, is it Mario? He's just like a huge oh, Mario. Oh, it's like Luigi. Yes, like Mar <laughs> like the blue trousers, like the Kaplamba guy. Yes, Even Luigi. the suspenders, man. Guy. But it's okay. He, he, it looked like he really had a good day before the do the guy came and interrupted his joy. He was but, so broken. By the, you could just see his spirit was crushed after seeing that. But movie. come on, she cannot tell me that she did not know that this is the same guy the second time round. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure she knew. This that is outfit is unforgettable, yes. man. Yes. Yeah, I'm sure she knew. That okay. outfit is unforgettable. <laughs> so I'm sure she's like, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, like any, hmm, you know, whatever. What, whatever floats your boat. I don't know. Eric Omundi once said that Kenyan girls have a bad habit of doing that. Well, we had doing very what? easily. Like we hug easily. Like Who someone can that? come and Eric ask you. Omondi. Yeah, Eric Omondi. Actually, I agree. There's Thank a video. you, Eric Omondi, for saying that. Yeah, there's a video actually. Yeah, go, you can go and check it out online. Or maybe we'll feature it next week. But he actually makes fun of Kenyan girls when it comes to how easily it's we like are. It's all over. I'm just like, hugging. why are we Why are we hugging? Like, why are we hugging? I hear we shouldn't like, even can, be I'm hugging like, in why? the workplace. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> oh, sometimes you're hugging so many like, rules. I don't understand. Anyway. So speaking of rules, our next video, oh my God, I would really like to, I wish my driving instructor was this guy. Ooh, don't let, uh, you know, don't let your enemies know your next move. I like this driving. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Let me just mind my own business. Anyway, you just <laughs> check this one out. Take off your seatbelt. Bad man not drive with seatbelt. What we are indicate for? Don't ever 
never use your indicator. Never make a next man know your next move. Lock off that. If you are turn left, just turn left. If you are turn right, just turn right. Fire for the indicator. Never let the next man know your next move. If you're turning left, just turn left. <laughs> you're turning right, turn right, man. I like his straight upness. Like any, this sounds like just driving in Kenya because <laughs> when's the last time you saw some? When's the last time you saw someone using an indicator in our beloved country? Okay, Kenya? this is what's wrong with Kenya. Like when mm. we are driving, we're usually so absent-minded. It's like that's our time to think. So the problem, really? with you, yeah. So the problem with using hey. the indicator is sometimes you forget it's still on. Mm. So you've been. And also at the same Lefting time, for a minute. Uh. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and at the same time, when we're all on the road, even I'm sure they're in Jamaica, like to go to Apo, Maze, it's like, and all of us have been told, here in Kenya, Maze, last month we drive Nakifua. So now all of you are there with the driving Nakifua. So there's no one indicating, there's no one showing their next move, because all of you have been given the same advice. <laughs> Unona. You know, we just behave badly, but it's mm. okay. Hopefully the frustrations will reduce because there are drivers in this country. I'm one of them. Thank you very much. Eh? You all teach us badly. You, we start out so well, so politely, and then we meet some Nyangarikas called Manya. And then now we all, we all we all just transform into something else. Yeah, okay. But then Matatu is going to frustrate you with these roads. Man. Yes, those are the ones I don't indicate when I'm my, making my next move. I just kind of shwa. No, you don't let no, you don't, like you don't let the next Manyanga know your next move. You know. <laughs> You know, the next one is called Ray Patty, Manze, Ray Patty. And if you remember that wonderful song we were singing a couple months ago, they came out, the handsome song, man, where we had this wonderful Nigerian guy who learned Kiswahili just for us, for that mm -hmm. one, is it one verse and one chorus that he was doing in Swa? So let's watch this one in a different kind of version, man. <laughs> But the boy took a kid as a him, on a pack of my packers in a leader. Not if you open my place, no matter, on a pack of my packers in a leader. But the boy took a kid as a him, on a pack of my packers in a leader. But the Uhuru may change her up. Who said, What an uncanny move for calling? Put our foot. You try that again, and you'll see what is going to happen to you. Thank you, Mr. President, for saying what I was just thinking. Paddy <laughs> Wubon, hey, my brother, it appears you're still out here trying to focus that depression. Why? Okay, I'm a big fan of kitties, by the way. Cats. Oh, yeah, by the way, you do like cats. <laughs> Let me be more specific. <laughs> cats, I'm a big fan of cats. Thank you so much, Paddy uh, Wubon, for, you know, making our nah, little uh, people look uh, funky. <laughs> you know, so I guess my packers in Amwita handsome, the cats be calling him handsome. Like, you know, there's a hidden innuendo in there, mm -hmm. but we shall not go into hidden innuendos because, once, like Hilda said, this is, uh, yeah, a PG show. Are we through for today? Amma, no, we, still have more we are not people. through. Courtesy of the rainy season, it yes. appears our very close relatives in the wild know exactly how to behave. I don't, let us know if you see yourself in this clip. Excuse me, what you to me, my tattoo, yeah, where you were. This is our video. Okay, she's making a run for it. I think I can relate. You know, especially when you when you are not in the mood to get wet at all. You're like, okay, can I walk in this rain? First you test, you're like, holy Lord. No, 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 no. I cannot. It's like taking a new shower out here. Mm. But it's really raining in Nairobi. So I'm guessing some of us have had this experience. But I thought More that to be so like. interesting because I was thinking to myself, I thought animals don't care about being rained on. And I was just like, hmm. Luckily, that's why they're called slay gorillas. But did you notice? And it's a combination of my two favorite animals and babies all in one. I one just of the knew mother, you'd have yes, to point out I the baby. I would always point it out. So one of the mothers had um, the kalilka cub. <laughs> now you're like, am I going this way? Or am I going this? Like, how am I getting my baby out of Do you this know place? Get completely dry. Because Labda, maybe she was thinking, Aka katoto katapata, homa kakinyata. Yes. 
by the be gorillas cold. do get hormah, by the yes. way. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. It will get cold, you know, like when when you get wet and then you're outside and it's cold. Before you dry, my God, you'll be sick. So uh, we totally understand our mm. relatives pale, in the wild, you know. Mm. Gotta do what you gotta do to stay dry. Yes. Mm. Please, can we go back to the human kingdom? <laughs> Oh, you must say, I'm never too happy once we're through with these things. I am never too happy. Lakini, um, as it looks, we have one more. And actually, it's called timely speech. Mm. And you shall see why it's called a timely speech. <laughs> let's, let's check it out and then we talk about it. Of the Republic of Kenya. Madam Ruto. All the protocols are observed. I don't know whether it is still morning. <laughs> yes, it is still. I don't know whether it is still morning. <laughs> yes, it is still. Uh, good morning to all of you. Well, wow. it looks like even presidents sometimes can, you know. Excuse you know, me, our like, president. Is it morning? Is it afternoon? Where are we at on this particular day? I always feel that way when the show is ending at like 10 or 11. I'm always like, mm, is it is it afternoon just yet? Kuna kwanga na confusion fulani hapo between mid morning. Is it afternoon just yet? Yes. Yeah, kuna kwanga na ka 11 hapo. Yes, kuna kwanga na that mid morning where you can make a mistake and say good afternoon or good morning at the wrong time. Well, that 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 particular. But Madam Ruto, oh my god. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. English. You go, girl. You English, know. English, you could have a though. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> at least I made Jaribu and even had to clarify the time. At least he was doing that instead of. Yeah. And he wanted to greet people properly. You know, you can't just stand there in front of, you know, Madame Ruto and be like, good afternoon, and it's 9 a.m. And the old protocols observed. <laughs> I don't know. I'm glad like, you picked that out, but I'm not saying anything. But you know, our, our African presidents are very, very. Uh, I don't know. They they tend to ban a lot when it comes to English. We've seen the South African one. South are my people from South 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 it appears you are presidents <laughs> in the Beningi, South South Africa. You know here now we have yeah. a Madame Ruto, South Sudan. Hmm? It appears a <laughs> There's an issue, but anyway, English English is not our mother tongue. Nobody's gonna blame me for not speaking it correctly. They also can't speak our languages correctly, you know. It's cool. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we are done for the day. It's about mm -hmm. time some of us tap out mm -hmm. and pave the way for one Barry Moses for strength of a woman. Mm -hmm. By the way, can't wait for that. Also, an interesting co uh, topic coming from Val right after Barry does come on with WCW. So, you guys stay tuned in, Manze. Why in the morning is nowhere close to being done? We're always here to entertain you until 10 a.m. every single morning. Yes. And you have been watching Breaking Views. So mm. please, please make sure you do catch up with us. We do this every Wednesday at this particular time. Okay. And you guys, for next week. Like if it means I even have to come on social media and pressure you. Do to me those things. I want to see them on our social media handles. Y254 channel, Facebook and Twitter. Y254 underscore channel on in, uh, Instagram. Myself, I'm a Twitter girl alone. That's Joy underscore Mochache. And I'm at Hilda Wadidi. Peace.